It is Wednesday, February 7th. It's in the evening right now. I'm sitting on the floor of my office. I am going to attempt to vlog as much as possible this week and show the true behind the scenes of what it is like to pull off a pop-up by yourself. I'm having a pop-up this weekend at Monger's Palette in Greenpoint. I'm making cakes for it and then I'm also going to be making sandwiches. This circumstance is a little different because I will have someone helping me making the sandwiches. Carol, the owner of Monger's Palette, is gonna be making sandwiches with me the day of so that is going to be extremely helpful because in the past i've just been doing it by myself and then like transporting the sandwiches there that'll be fun to make them on site and to have another set of hands but everything else for this pop-up is done by me i've been doing all the prep work for the cakes like the fillings i just made all of the buttercreams i made two four I made eight batches of buttercreams. Now I'm making boxes. I kind of had all the boxes already made, but I'm labeling them and counting them tonight. So you can see behind me. I have them all laid out so I can count them. And I hand write everything because it makes it more handmade. I need to do this and go to bed. And I need to like heat my shoulders. Somehow I threw out my shoulder today. I don't know how that happened. And then I have to wake up tomorrow and begin baking. Good morning. I've been up since six baking. Personally, I like to wake up and immediately do some tasks. It just makes me feel good and like I've accomplished something first thing in the morning. It's also when I feel the most productive and sharp. That's just what I like to do. You can think that that's not a good morning routine, but it works for me. I baked 25 espresso olive oil mini cakes because I'm making tiramisu cakes. I just kind of wanted to have them done a day ahead. Tiramisu needs to like sit in the fridge for a day so all the flavors can macerate for it to taste its best. You can think otherwise but that is my personal opinion. For the rest of the day I don't really have a ton of like physical baking I need to do because I've done most of my prep. I just kind of need to run some errands and make boxes. I'm gonna go to the sauna this morning just because I'm having like a really bad sciatica flare right now and also my shoulder, like I said last night, I don't know how I hurt it but it's bothering me. So I kind of just want to go and like relax this morning and then I'm gonna go run some errands. I need to go to Whole Foods. The Whole Foods employees at this point are probably like this girl here every single day. Once I get back from Whole Foods, I need to label boxes, just like get that out of the way because I hand write everything. I know I make it difficult for myself. Don't tell me, Amy, you should get a printer. You should get a label. Just let me, just let me do it the way that I like to do it. I'm stubborn. Probably should do some emails and just like some computer work that I've been putting off. And then tonight, this is really random. I'm going to a Lil Yachty concert. My friend's visiting from the UK. I think, I honestly don't even know. I feel like he's shooting for the show. So that's why I'm on the list for this. I don't know, all my friends are going. Usually I don't go out on weeks where I have a pop-up just because I get really stressed. I literally like put myself on house arrest and I don't really let myself do anything. There will be an outfit and some makeup involved later. What it will be? I don't know, I gotta go on Pinterest. softest, warmest sock brand, whatever. You know, you see them at the paper store. That's the brand of my knee socks. Not wearing these shoes. I wanted to wear my Mary Janes, but I'm gonna be standing. So I think I'm gonna have to just commit to wearing my sneakers, which are my Merrells. I need to be comfortable. My skirt, mini skirt. I'm having a mini skirt moment tonight, which is out of my comfort zone. It's from Bootsy. This little jacket is thrifted. I'm gonna wear my Jim's glasses. I feel like it goes with the look. And then for warmth purposes, this scarf is gonna be like wrapped around my head, but I am getting picked up to go to this so I don't have to worry about taking the train and I'm definitely Ubering home. That's the outfit of the night. Makeup, very simple, bold blush again. And I like to kind of do like an orangey look on my eyes, just really natural. And then some 
white eyeliner. in the morning I'm home now and one thing about me is no matter what time it is I'm a retainer and sorry if I have a little lisp right now but no matter what time it is I am coming home and taking a full shower before I get into bed because that venue was stinky and humid good night I'm not looking the most glamorous right now it's Friday morning and I am not okay i don't know what is wrong with me but i woke up and my stomach is churning i am genuinely concerned how i'm going to work today actually i keep having to sit down because i think i'm gonna vomit or do something else i cannot be away from the bathroom love that this is happening before a pop-up i don't know what i would have eaten that would have caused this i'm not looking forward to working today this is going to be quite difficult. We will persevere. I guess I'm just gonna have to kind of reroute the way that I planned today to go down and just kind of like rest. Also ignore my forehead reveal. I haven't even like brushed my teeth or washed my face yet today. It's already like 10 30 in the morning. And one thing I also need to say is that I'm not hungover. I did not drink a sip of alcohol last night or consume any type of substance. I was dead sober. I finally made it outside. It really took a lot of courage to get myself to come out here because I'm scared of being away from the bathroom, but I need to get ginger ale kombucha and milk bread because the thought of eating like a seeded rye, which is all I have at home, is nauseating to me. It sounds absolutely horrid. So if I go to Takahachi and they don't have the milk bread, I'm going to be very upset to say the least. I just panic baked another batch of cakes for the pop-up because I don't know my intuition was telling me that I needed to make another batch of tiramisu cakes so that's what I did I might have just made a lot more work for myself it'll be fine right now though I'm kind of in a rush because I have to go to Soho for a fitting I'm getting lent some clothes from a clothing brand that I really like just for some events I have this week and I have to take photos for something so it would be nice to have like a nice outfit Heading into Soho during fashion week though is a little intimidating. I feel very out of place. Let's go to Soho. Bootsy haul. Look at this like cute little hat box that they put all the clothes in. Also, 
It's hand painted. So thoughtful. Love this brand. Mishka is the sweetest girl. Same with her mom. I love all the clothes. I actually like wear them all the time. The pieces that I have in my closet. First, this top is like super out of my comfort zone, but it looked really nice on. It's really ethereal blue chiffon top and it ties in the back. This skirt to go with that. This is kind of like a form-fitting beige. Oh, I think it's upside down. <laughs> like a beige skirt. The material's really soft. This is like a little tank top moment. It's beige and it has like pink detailing. It ties in the back and then it also has this thing that goes around and ties. You literally can't see, but cuteness. And then this might be one of my favorite things. It's like a little black dress. It's like this mesh. I don't know, it's like an open back. I'm really bad at describing clothes. Yeah, this is really cute. I don't know where I'm gonna wear this one yet. It also comes with a little like belt. And last thing I got was they so kindly gave me this La Cabra croissant, which I'm about to eat for lunch. This is leveling up from toast. I think my stomach can handle this. Shouts out La Cabra. I feel like I haven't given an update of like what's happening with pop-up prep. All of the cakes are baked and I sliced all of them in half. I ended up making 80, either 86 or 89. I can't remember the number. I have it written down. So all of the prep is done. Now I just have to assemble everything, which is kind of like the tedious part of it. I do have to go to the store and buy strawberries to make chocolate covered strawberries because I'm gonna top all of the cakes with those. When I do pop-ups like this, it's kind of like I don't leave my apartment for a few days because there's so much to do. It's a lot of work assembling 80 something small cakes. Do you see how I went from doing actually nothing in January to all of a sudden it was like, boom, February and everything picks up again. Let me tell you, freelance work, it is very unpredictable. I'm hitting the point of prepping for this pop-up where I'm feeling slightly deranged and delusional right now. Yesterday, I went to the stores around my neighborhood to just like check out the strawberry situation. I don't usually buy strawberries this time of year, but for Valentine's Day, I do make the exception and they were loaded and they were all on sale and I just went and there's like a strawberry shortage. Only like one store had them and they barely had any, so I had to get what I could. But it's really nice out, it's like 50 degrees. I think I might go on the little stroll and then I have to make a ton of trouble coverage strawberries. <laughs> I look like the limp truffle guy. I have been working non-stop since I got back from that fitting today at like, I think I got home at 12. Yeah, it's like 9.30 now. I did a huge kitchen clean, but I didn't show that on camera. I just, I just needed a break from filming. Now I'm all ready for bed. It was serious tonight. I had to pull out the yoga blocks to do some stretching. That's how much of a day that I had, but I'm super excited for tomorrow. I love pop-ups even though they are a lot of work they're extremely rewarding because I just like love meeting everyone and getting to have face-to-face -face interactions with people who follow me online it's seriously like so meaningful to me like I'm very grateful can't wait to talk to everyone and you can probably see from this vlog that like 
my day-to-day -day job is pretty isolating. I spend a lot of my time alone. It's always really fun to be able to meet everyone. I have to wake up early tomorrow morning though to get to Monger's palette to begin sandwich preparation and do like all my final touches on the cakes and box everything up. I need to get a good night's sleep. I'll see you in the morning for the day of the pop-up. Good night. really late right now to go to the pop-up because it took me way longer to get ready than I expected but I just put all of the cakes into bags this is my outfit I was going for the Valentine's theme I don't even know if you can see my outfit to be honest but yeah now I have to bring all of these bags downstairs and then call an uber and then I'm heading to Monger's palette to assemble sandwiches hopefully I get there on time Whenever I do a pop-up, I get really nervous to meet everyone and just like be perceived kind of. Maybe it's in my head. It's just a little nerve-wracking. So I didn't get any footage of the pop-up, but only because I didn't start making sandwiches until literally 11 o'clock. And then, thank God, the owner of Monger's Palette was there to help me and make sandwiches throughout the whole thing. But like, when you do a pop-up, it's kind of like, go, go, go. I didn't even like have time to eat lunch. I got home at like, I don't know, like two, and I'm, I'm just having food now. I'm having like a snack because I'm going to a Super Bowl party. Usher halftime viewing party later, but the pop-up was awesome. I hope everyone enjoyed their cakes. The sandwich was fun. I got to have like a little bite of it to try. It was super nice meeting everyone. Sorry if I ever seem kind of like, I think my biggest fear about pop-ups is coming off standoffish, which I don't mean to. I just want people to know I probably haven't like eaten anything or drank anything. So if I seem like a little frazzled or out of it, I'm sorry. Like, I want you to know that it means the world to me that people actually come and, like, line up to try my food. I cannot express my gratitude enough. Like, right now, I need to eat so bad. I'm only having, like, grilled cheese and chicken soup. Because my stomach is still messed up. I seriously love and appreciate everyone who comes to my pop-ups. It's so gratifying getting to meet and, like, chit-chat with everyone. I had such, like, fun combos with people today. I wish there was more time for me to, like sit and talk with everyone because i really love doing that that's what it's like prepping for a cake pop-up in new york city i ended up making 90 cakes and we had to have made over like 70 sandwiches today i don't know i'll find out the exact number thanks for spending the last few days with me they were definitely a little chaotic to say the least if you like my youtube videos please like and subscribe let me know what other type of videos you want to see I'll see you next time.